we know that the Steelers will have their quarterbacks available. Kenny Pickett, Mitchell Trubisky, those are the two who are battling to start. Indications are Trubisky is the guy who's number one for now. Kenny Pickett, the rookie, is going to have to earn it. And teams like to force a young guy to earn it. It helps him build confidence. It helps the players get behind him if he does indeed earn it, if it's not a rigged competition. Here is Kenny Pickett from yesterday's OTA session talking about the quarterback competition in Pittsburgh. I don't know. I mean, we're all, I'm, we're all learning. I'm learning. And uh, I'm just kind of attacking each day. Uh, I think, you know, you guys make a bigger deal out of the competition than the players do because we're competing every single day regardless. So um, I'm just excited to, you know, be a part of this team and, and compete. Taking third string reps, I mean, I know right now, obviously, very early in the competition, but how much does that motivate you to want to work your way up the chart? Yeah, I mean, I didn't think I was going to walk in and be the one, right? I mean, so it's it's kind of what I was expecting and, and come in here and just, uh, just earn everything I get. I mean, it's just kind of how it goes in life in the game. So I'm, I'm excited. What's it? Yeah, look, that's the right attitude. You're not going to walk through the door as the number one guy. They can't hand it to you. That no. builds resentment. Yeah. You have to earn it. You have to go out and show you can do it. You have to go out on the practice field, and you have to you have to operate in a way that makes players say, oh, yeah, he's the best option, either now or later. Oh, yeah, he's our guy. You put in the work. You stay late. You do all the right things. You say all the right things. That's right. You and wear the organization obvious. down. Right. Exactly. That yeah. You're the best option to Mitchell right. Trubisky and Mason Rudolph. It's right. that simple. It is that simple. I mean, you think about like Mac Jones. It's kind of what he did last year. It just that's what uh, it just every day work work oh good practice good practice good practice good practice oh wait more work he's here late oh my gosh he's invested oh man all of a sudden all these days we add him up and we're getting towards the end of training camp and it's like well maybe the hell with Cam Newton I think Mac Jones is close to ready so that's the approach he's got to have he's just got to keep knocking the days down one by one it's a process and like you said yeah he's got to earn it Pitts especially in Pittsburgh Mike Tomlin everything he preaches competition you know all that intensity there that's for 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 anything on that football field there in pittsburgh so uh yeah he's gonna have to earn it we know that you know yeah and they'll they'll start to you know they'll groom some things around him and get him some confidence to get him going and get him into this con you know conversation as far as the competitions uh, when they feel like he's probably mentally ready and then they'll then they'll start to make things interesting but yeah for right now he's just got to buy his time it's early he's 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 learning how to walk again i'm sure he's swimming you're breaking the huddle right now and he can't even think about football he's going wait what did I just say in the huddle? Oh, right, this guy's over here. Wait, okay, uh, blue forty-five. Wait, what did I, what was the play I said in the huddle? Oh my gosh, that's right. All right, this guy's running that. This guy's running that. Set hut. I mean, that's really what life is like as a rookie. Your f- first few weeks there, you're playing quarterback oh. and figuring it out on the fly. We 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 are familiar with with the dynamic of getting the play <laughs> yes, call right. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> I very. I, I I want the I want the Browns meeting room audio and video we have the chris sims john gruden on field audio and video please i hope get we the don't play right uh well we do somewhere, <laughs> yeah, somewhere. I, hey if they're gonna if they're gonna play the hail mary video anytime the topic remotely comes up i need to be ready to lay out at any given moment so we can hear john gruden chewing on you no no they like me the in the control call. room they don't like you so they have that stuff ready they like me they wouldn't do that to me they would never do that you better not do it courtney okay do don't, we have it do we have it i'll lay it just tell me when to lay out um so uh Oh, look, Trubisky has to – well, not Trubisky. Pickett has to prove himself over Trubisky. And and Pickett uh, – he's not – it's not like this is a can't-miss prospect, number one overall pick in the draft. I mean, exactly there are situations right. where the rookie walks through the door as the starter because everybody knew he was going to be the guy, and that's it, and there's no competition to be had. I mean, last year in, in New York, Zach Wilson – there was no one else. Of course, it's Zach Wilson. Exactly. He's the starter. We're getting him ready for week one. Everybody knows it. With the Steelers, hey, there's a chance Pickett's not ready. They have Trubisky under contract. And, you know, people still think it's a big deal that Trubisky's got incentives and that's going to push them toward Pickett. They don't care about paying Trubisky that's some money pennies, if he gives them a the better chance million. to win. Right, right. I know. A few extra million. Nobody, nobody cares. They're not going to let that be the difference there as far as wins and losses. No way. That's not that they're not going to penny pinch or penny pinch in that that department. But I think your you know your point about this is not a slam dunk number one guy is is real, and I think that's what makes it a little bit more of a real competition. Or maybe the politics of the situation aren't going to get involved as much. 
You know, I think we had, hey, yeah, you, you said it, right? Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Joe Burrow the year before. But, again, these were guys with, like, an aura and a way about them that make an organization go, hey, let's draft this guy in the top three because he's got incredible confidence and people skills and all those. And then skills that jump off the, the page or the, the film when you watch them, you know, and turn that stuff on and study them. You know, Kenny Pickett, it's not quite that, in my opinion. And that's where, yes, he will have to earn it. And it won't be easy like we discussed because Mitchell Trubisky was one of those guys we're talking about who was a top three pick. And again, like we've discussed too, has some real physical ability. I mean, he really does. He's got a strong arm and he's an incredible athlete. So it won't be easy for him to just do this. And, and I think back to the things we've said and you've said here over the last few months, Pittsburgh, uh, I think they look at themselves like, like we talked about with the Saints and the NFC, NFC to where they look at themselves and go, wait, we're, we're still pretty good. We're not just going to play the rookie quarterback because he's the 20th pick. I think they look at it and go, wait, our offense is about to turn the corner here, and our defense, we know we're not far off from being dominant. And for that reason, I, I think that's another reason they don't just throw the rookie out there. The last time they had a first-round quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger picked 11th overall in 2004. He was not the week one starter. It was Tommy Maddox. Ben Roethlisberger didn't play until Maddox got injured. So uh, we will see how it goes, but they will go with a guy that they genuinely believe gives them the best chance to win hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports